But what up with it, man? You know, this is Boy Boss TV. At it again, man. It's like my third blog today. But uh, right now I want to touch on Beyonce cousin, the rapper Cardone, that got shot and killed in Texas. He was in Austin, Texas, which Austin ain't, you know, they try to say Austin is a real safe place to be at in Texas, but he got killed in an apartment. <clears throat> he was, uh, he was messing with, uh, this lady right here that's supposed to be, uh, like an artist or whatever. They're going to tell you her name and they're, they're saying that she is the suspect. She's only 21 and. It just make you wonder, like, damn, what what would make you want to throw your way your life away like that at twenty one, and and you had something going for yourself? Like they could have been arguing about either some money or a song or something. They was actually working together. He he got signed to a record label, and he was working with her, and they still don't have the motive yet. But shit, let's just jump on into this real quick. From face on Instagram now. Rapper Martel, 34, who performed under the name Cardin, appeared to have been murdered in his upscale San Antonio apartment complex after police discovered his body on Tuesday, January 26, during a welfare check. Duran was signed to The Orchard, a label owned by Sony, and in 2019, article from the source, Duran was revealed to be the cousin of Beyonce. Police discovered his body on the 26th, and they identified Sasha, 21, as a suspect after Duran's body was found. Surik had been connected to Duran as she dropped a single in April that he produced. Surik was previously charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, a first-degree felony, after her boyfriend, Andrew Bass, was killed in a drug deal gone bad. Investigators believe that Sherrick set up the deal with the intent to rob the other man who was hospitalized after also being shot in the incident. Secure had been out on bond since January 2020. Hey, man, a lot of times we look at these guys and we say these guys are doing terrible things, but the women usually get the pass. And that's one thing I'm going to talk about later today, man. I'm going to talk about this uh, Wendy Williams and Method Man situation and basically how she getting away with something everybody ridiculed Youngberg for. But back to this situation, man. This is very unfortunate. Um, this guy probably lost his life over something senseless. He was dealing with somebody who we can tell is very emotional, um, that make irrational decisions. And I'm sure it was probably a disagreement, maybe about how much she owed him or about a record that she wanted. And it turned deadly and Man, rest in peace to this young man, you know. Um Man, I just wanna say, man, you know, that that shit be happening all the time, man. Like these women, they flipping out more than niggas. They might as well just be the soldiers and shit, cause they I mean, they this shit happening a lot, man. A lot of times you can't even trust them. Like you gonna have to be strapped up, you wanna meet meet up with somebody on some business or something like that, man. These girls, man, they going crazy on this shit. Don't make no sense, man. 34 is a young age to be murdered. Any age is a young age to be murdered. You never want to go out like that. But, you know, her throwing away her life at 21 like this when she had the chance to work with somebody who was so accomplished already on a label, sometimes people don't look at the beauty and the opportunities they have, and sometimes they become so entitled. That's why you have to make people work for their own things. Don't give them everything. You can give them help. You can give them advice. But... You also got to give them an opportunity to fail for themselves and work for themselves so they can see how hard it is. Yeah, man. And, and, and this situation, it kind of makes me think about my partner, Rome. Rome's own, man. You know, he was a good dude. He changed his life around, you know. He 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 was doing a lot of stuff for the community. He he actually started being a uh, a preacher or whatever. And he uh he had some young lady at his house or something. We don't we don't know what happened, but she ended up shooting and killing him. And the only reason why they caught her is because he ran over uh, to the neighbor's door and rung the doorbell. And uh, the neighbors have that camera, like when you ring the doorbell, the doorbell camera comes on, and it showed her fleeing the scene and jumping in the car. And this this girl was twenty one too, and and to this day, and this has happened probably like six months ago. Nobody still don't know the motive, but you know. It's just ridiculous. It is because a lot of times 
People can look at what you have and just be like, oh, it's so easy. He got it. Why he can't give it to me? It's so easy. She got it. Why she can't give it to me? But it's not easy. They just make it look they make it look easy or they do it without complaining. Spit Squad, drop below in the comments and let me know what you think. Also, check out Hip Hop Artist of the Week in the description. And it's free. So click the like button, the subscribe button. Yeah, shout out to that boy that uh, did that video. But man, you know what I'm saying? Like the shit, it's so much shit going on out here, especially in all these uh these little cities like you know Dallas, you know Chicago, Miami. Like it's so much stuff going on. But this shit's sad. Like you wouldn't think a 21 year old female would be like would would smoke you. You know what I'm saying? Basically smoke your ass, man. For for a little nothing, you know, I mean, if it was another dude that he was around that felt threatened by, he'd probably be more on his P's and Q's, but, you know, he with a young 21-year-old girl, he ain't thinking that she might have that little strap in the back and, and get to arguing. He might call her a bitch or something like that, and she gets so emotional, she she blasts, you know what I'm saying? But uh, they're gonna, they, we're going to find out the motive and all that, but, you know, just let me know what you think in the comments, like you know what I'm saying? Share, subscribe to my channel. You know, I'm trying to do more content. I'm going to start doing uh, some more, uh, some lives and things like that. Uh, my subscribers are starting to go up. I appreciate all y'all. So, man, just stay tuned, man. This is Boss TV, and I'm out of here.